direttamente dagli studi del letto di casa mia sono tornata con un reaction video questa volta ho trovato un video super interessante di Nathaniel Drew già ho reagito a uno dei suoi video lo metterò qui però metterò anche il suo video qui in info box se volete vedere la sua versione per intero perché io in realtà sto per rubare un piccolo pezzetto del suo video originale che si intitola Why do Europeans dislike Americans so much? Perché agli europei gli americani non piacciono così tanto? Lui dice la sua intervista delle persone io ho voluto fare un reaction video con il mio amico Anthony Ciao! Ciao, come va? Ciao, io bene, tu grazie per essere di nuovo qui sul mio canale Comunque, adesso ti faccio anche un'introduzione carina a te Però, in quanto americano, voglio sapere cosa ne pensi tu delle risposte di questi europei Allora, Anthony, visto che io sto parlando italiano, ma tu mi capisci in italiano Ma sei americano o sei italiano? Americano Italo americano, ma sono un cittadino italiano, quindi eh, io sono italiano però. Quando sei diventato italiano? Uh, un anno fa Ok, quindi tutta la tua vita l'hai preso praticamente vissuta dove? A uh, Atlanta, vicino a Atlanta, stato quindi sud, sud est. Agli italiani non piace quando dici Atlanta, si dice? Atlanta. Però adesso sei? Adesso sono a Trento. Puoi dire 33 trentini entrarono a Trento tutti e 33 trotterellando? <ride> sì. Allora, iniziamo con i video. A lot of people beforehand used to think like the US was like very cool and this really lovely place to go to but I feel like everyone just thinks it's dangerous and that they don't care about their citizens there's all these shootings going on like their health care is horrible their schools school is horrible so there's I been think, a change I think it's always been like that I think there's a change now because like the so like social media is like yeah. is bringing making it more apparent American crime used to be you know like the American dream like yeah of, um, used to be a big thing like gun crime was getting like publicized a lot more so I think like the narrative is changing a little bit shall we do this in English or Italian let's do this in English English because there's the nuances and I don't want to misspeak. She feels like the US was cooler a few years ago. I think the US has always been cool and is still cool. And that's it, we can end the video right there. No, I'm kidding. Obviously different politics have, have changed over the last few years. You know, with the internet and social media, people have different perceptions and judgments about what the US is now versus what it was. Without naming names, I understand where that comes from. But yeah, we do have obviously problems with, with shootings and we have more guns than there are people in the US, so that's a problem probably always going to be a problem, unfortunately. In terms of violence compared to Europe, yeah, in fact, I did some research on this a few weeks ago looking at the crime in Italy, for example, because uh, I was looking at something with Naples because people always talk about Naples being unsafe, and I was like, let's look at the actual data. And I also looked at the data of Italian cities versus the US, just, you know, for kicks and giggles. You're more likely to get murdered in some very safe places in the US than you are in pretty much anywhere in Italy. So the ambient level of violence in the US, it is higher. I don't know if that's a new thing though. I think that's been the case for decades. School shootings, you see that more in the news, but the school shootings and stuff like that, it's a small percentage of the gun violence, which is a large problem. There's no easy fix. No. What about the health system? Yeah, I mean, we're known for having expensive healthcare. So if you don't have a job that pays then you have to pay it out of pocket. Now there's government programs to help with that, but it's still not ideal. It's like, so people are constantly living in fear of getting sick and going bankrupt or losing money. Even an ambulance is like 500 bucks. Oh, I think it's even more than that. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I know people who, you know, friends have cancer and like the bills that they're getting, they're like, if we didn't, if we didn't have insurance, we'd be bankrupt. I mean, it's totally insane. I don't have much experience with the healthcare system in Italy. Yes, I live here. I haven't had to use it that much. Wait times are longer, you know, things maybe take a little bit longer. So there's pros and cons, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but yeah, it's uh, healthcare in the US, it's it's a racket. For me, as an Italian, I have to agree with her on like the first part. I feel like, I'm not talking about myself, but the image that the Italians had about the US, I feel like when I was little, America was so cool. All the entertainment, Hollywood, the movies, music, a lot of the entertainment we had came from America, right? But now it's kind of like switching to more European, stuff like movies or Asians you know Korea Japan I feel like the US is still cool but it's not as cool as it was when I was little I could see that yeah you see a lot of things like for example money heist Casa de Papel that was a huge hit in the US Squid Game okay let's move on to the next person prima di continuare vi parlo un minuto dello sponsor di oggi Cambly il 2024 è ormai iniziato ci sono i nuovi propositi i nuovi obiettivi se tra i nuovi obiettivi c'è un viaggio all'estero entrare in un 
un'università, all'estero fare un Erasmus, anche lavoro, cercare di fare un colloquio con un'azienda multinazionale, Cambly vi può aiutare. Su Cambly infatti si può imparare l'inglese facendo lezione con insegnanti madrelingua disponibili 24 ore su 24, 7 giorni su 7, con il mio codice sconto che è Sonia Candy 2024, proprio semplice semplice, avrete il 50% di sconto sui piani annuali. Questo vuol dire che una lezione con un madrelingua può avvenire 5 euro. 5 euro, 5 euro per una lezione. I prezzi sono imbattibili anche perché Cambly è comodo, puoi fare lezione in qualsiasi momento della giornata, qualsiasi giorno della settimana, qualsiasi ora, con insegnanti madrelingua che si adattano bene sia al tuo livello, sia a quello che vuoi, sia per esempio a me piace l'accento americano, però ci sono insegnanti dal Regno Unito, dall'Australia, dal Sudafrica, da dove volete voi. Ci sono tanti materiali disponibili anche gratuitamente semplicemente visitando il sito c'è Cambly AI che è l'intelligenza artificiale che ti fa fare conversazione come se fosse madrelingua, diciamo che se tra gli obiettivi di questo 2024 c'è l'inglese Cambly fa per voi, inoltre una lezione di prova di 30 minuti viene un euro check it out, now torniamo al video vedo l'America come una grande puissance mondiale e io li vedo come dei capitalisti, in fatto se hai l'argento tu vivi bene, ma se non hai l'argento non c'è nessuno per te marci o creme It's just so beautiful. What do you think? You gotta work in the U.S. If you're not working, you have to work everywhere. No, I mean, in Italy, people have to work, but I mean, it's that way everywhere. But yeah, we're always thinking as capitalists, what do I gotta be doing to be making money? How could I monetize what I'm doing right now? We prioritize work over life to an extent, and I think that might be changing a bit. Work is number one, I think. I think that's becoming less and less so, to our credit. We are prioritizing more balance. Yeah? I think so. What do you think? I don't know. I know a lot of young people my age, I don't, I'm not that young anymore, but 30-ish in the US, they work so much. A lot of them work a lot. And this might go to financial security. We're thinking about, okay, I need to save for the future. I need to save for retirement. I need to save for potential healthcare problems. And like, you've got to save. We always want to be building. Schooling is, is crazy. If I was 18 now in the US and I wasn't an Italian citizen, <laughs> I, I would be hesitant to go to college. I would at least take a gap year for sure, which I did not do. We don't do that. We get right out of high school, we go right into college, right out of college, right into working. Brr, da, 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 da. Fast forward, I'm 29 years old. I quit my job and sell my house and move to Italy. And now I'm talking to Sonia Candy. We're capitalists, but you know, if you go to the US, like I was just in the US for Christmas for two months and I walk around Atlanta, which is a huge city. You drive down, you walk down. There's just, we're just crushing it in terms of development. There's stuff, there's new buildings being built everywhere you go. There's jobs everywhere. It's like, you want a job in the US and you're like worth the dam you can find it we just keep plowing ahead i mean that's where the money is and for better or worse yeah the side effect of us being so capitalist and so productive is we i think part of it is that's why we live shorter we live five years less than most europeans that's not even that much of a difference like 78 versus 83 i think those are the averages for men italy versus us i mean is it worth it is it worth living shorter if it means you're working more but you're making a lot of money and you can buy all this shit i don't know you yes. know because you moved to italy So you made your decision. Yeah. Okay, andiamo avanti. In France, uh, we say the Americans uh, are uh, are big and fat, but uh, I have America um, uh, with the friends, the celery friends. Donc il uh, y a des côtés positifs et des côtés négatifs. Ouais, c'est ça exactement. Globalement, globalement, les gens pensent ça, mais en même temps, tout le monde va à New York et tout le monde va aux États-Unis. Ouais, d'accord, OK. C'est ça en fait, ouais. Il y a des, ils ont des préjugés, mais en même temps, c'est quand même un rêve d'y aller. Oui, yeah, la TV show Friends, les gens aiment ça dans les US et aussi en Europe. Friends, it's like, that doesn't exist. That's a fantasy. You have all these friends that are together for all these years and they're all hanging out in this apartment. Like, that. Ah. I would say that Friends is probably more Italian than American in terms of like what you see on screen. Well, yeah, maybe, because I've had Friends for like 20 years now, 25, so yeah. And then New York, like, you've been to New York, right? Yeah. No, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Honestly, I had low expectations. I don't know why. I was like, everybody sound like New York, New York. No, no, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's totally amazing. But to live there, it's like, it's crazy. I've never lived there myself. I have friends who have, they've gone for a couple years, and then they're burned on their back. It's like, it's just so expensive. It's lonely. It's hard to make friends. Expensive. <laughs> I totally live there if I had the money. What about the, the big and fat part? Well, yeah, we definitely are. We have everything is bigger, cars are bigger, people are bigger. Bigger chairs are bigger. That's true. And when you walk around Europe, you just see like, oh, everybody is just gorgeous. And how do they? Not that you can't be. Okay, basically. 
people are thinner here. I'll just say that. If you lived in a country where it was car dependent and we had to drive everywhere, you probably would be that way as well. It's because vegetables are so expensive. That's why you have to be rich to eat well, good food. But I have to say, ragazzi, io ve lo dico. Io sono stata parecchio in Colorado ed è uno stato un po' diverso perché effettivamente rispetto tipo quando stavo in Florida o in altri stati, vedevo due tipi di persone. Ok, va bene, quelli un po' più in sovrappeso, magari, eh? Oppure i mega super palestrati, fit, uomini, donne con i muscoli. Era pieno di gente che sembrava appena uscita dalla palestra in Colorado, te lo giuro. Sì, ho visto questo in Italia, non ci sono persone grasse. People aren't really fat, but I also don't see people who are like gym rats. Yeah. Like the dudes, I'll just speak for men. You see a lot of like skinny fat, you know, where they're not obese, but they're not fit. They could just look like somebody who just walks around a lot and is like in okay shape. They're not gonna like run a marathon, but you would look at them and say like, oh, they're thin, but you know, they got some patatine fritte ogni giorno. Patatine fritte, no, forse un po' troppa pasta. Tu però sei magro. When I was in America, or every time I go, people tell me that I'm too skinny. In Italy, they say I'm, I'm okay. I've been hearing that literally my whole life. <laughs> Not here. here. You gotta put some meat on your bones. Yes, like they say yes. You gotta eat, eat more, eat more. Like, you should see how much I eat. I'm fine. Don't worry. Like, exactly. I'm fine. I eat a lot. <laughs> okay, that's what's the next one. J'étais absolument ulcéré, ulcéré quand Trump était au pouvoir. De voir le comportement de cet homme, ça donne pas envie d'aller forcément dans ces conditions-là. Le fait que les que les les gens soient très très armés, j'ai l'impression que je pas, je me sentirais pas en sécurité. Again, safety. I hate to see people afraid to go to the U.S. for safety as tourists because most part of the violence in in the U.S. takes place in inner cities and lesser developed parts of the cities where there is more crime. And they're not places where tourists go. I hate to see that, and I don't think honestly that uh, a government and admin administration should affect somebody's decision whether or not to go to the U.S. You know, it's like just go. No, just go. Wait, wasn't it in New York where people? It was like a trend. They were slashing people with a knife? Um, I don't know. You're probably more, more up on that than me. <laughs> I don't... Or Chicago. It's a touristic place, right? But every time we go to Chicago, they're like, be careful. Don't go to like, where? I don't know Chicago. I'm a tourist. I see her point. I, I understand where she's coming from. Back to Naples. Everybody says Naples is dangerous and scary and you're gonna go there and die. And I was like, okay. And I went with those expectations, not those expectations, but I went, you know. And it's amazing. It's an awesome city. Yeah, but they never say you will die in Naples. Like there are pickpocketers, they're gonna steal from you. You're gonna go back without your phone and wallet, but they don't say that you're gonna get shot, for example. That's true, that's true. Look, Sonia, you're making it really hard for me to defend my home country. I'm trying, but you're just, you're beating me down. Yeah, but some places must be safer than Italy. Like when I was in Florida, I saw a lot of houses with like these huge windows, like a little tiny wooden door that doesn't even lock. And I'm like, I'd never sleep here alone as a woman, but I saw women sleeping there alone. And I was like, this must be really safe. A lot of people who like don't even lock their doors in certain areas, like why worry? It really is, I think, highly regionalized. But it's like, the same in Italy, because in Rome you would <laughs> lock your door, but I know a lot of Italian towns, a lot of people don't. All right, next. For me, it's like a lot about the money, like the, the times I went to New York and, and it's like, you know, winners and losers and, you know, you gotta make it and you gotta yeah. make loads of money and la 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 and, um, and then like if you don't have money you're like basically fucked. I would say extremes. Extremes. It's like an extreme, you know, country. Like very, very rich, very, very poor. Right. Eat very much, eat very, very, very healthy. Like yeah. extreme healthy, extreme. Yeah. Like XXXL, uh, McDonald's, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's funny. The extremes. I definitely see that a lot. You do see people who just don't don't give a damn about what they're eating, and then there's people who are obsessed about it, and all they talk about and think about is healthy eating, going to the gym. The mentality, I see that. But when she talks about money, I'm like, what about the like the middle class? There's a lot of people that say that the middle class, you know, people have been saying this forever. The middle class is disappearing because the rich, the rich are getting richer. And, you know, this all goes back to data that I haven't looked at recently, but I think the poor are also getting richer, but not at the rate that the rich the ultra rich because of tax, the way taxes, like the money you make from capital gains and investment, that's taxed at a much lower rate than like actually working hours. Basically what that's saying is that money is worth more than sweat. So for that reason, the ultra rich are getting ultra, ultra richer and the middle class feel like, well, this is bullshit because I'm paying, I'm paying a higher tax. But the extreme mentality, that's so American. I wake up at 5 a.m. every single day of my life and I never 
eat not even a pinch of sugar. Like, oh my God. Yeah, I wake up every day, I don't drink, I don't have caffeine. I get to work at 8 a.m. I take lunch at 11.30. I meditate for 10 minutes a day. I'm guilty of things like that, sort of, where like I always have my backpack with me with my laptop because I always want to be able to, always. Like, if I need to do some work, pretty much always, yeah. If I want to do some work or if I get like an idea for something and I want to do it, I just want to be ready. Like. <laughs> My mentality is the opposite. Like, I, I mean, I work a lot. I want to be healthy, but I don't go to the gym every day. Three times a week because I know that if I go every day, then I'll get tired and I'll end up not going. And I've been going three times a week for 10 years now. I want to eat healthy, but I still want to be able to go out and enjoy like two, three meals out a week. And then the rest of the time I eat healthy. So I never have this extreme approach. I know people who eat out literally every meal. Like they don't cook at all, which to me is crazy. That's in so Italy? crazy. No, in the US. And also there's the whole hustle culture where like, yeah, people work waking up at 5 a.m. and going to the gym. It's like, do people actually live like that or do they just make it look like that on Instagram? Also, you can't do that in Italy. If you wake up at 5 a.m., that means you're going to bed at like 10 p.m. with not gonna make friends. Okay, next. Where are you from? England. Perfect, so I'm doing a video on Europeans' view of uh, Americans. Okay. I don't know if you have We're any opinions European. about that. So, oh, okay. Europe. No, we're not. We left EU. No, this is Europe. Do you feel like it's a more positive or a negative view of Americans? I'd say negative. I feel like there's a, there's a lot going on there that's just a bit backwards. Yeah. Like, I feel like we need to move along. Yeah. The, the, like, you know, the, all the abortion laws coming okay. in. So politically. And, yeah, like all the gun crimes. Yeah. Things like that. Like, I. I imagine like the most of the country is absolutely lovely, but there's some of the morals that are just a little bit off for me. So yeah. I struggle with that. I agree, but I do think you all like proper chatty and that, and you're really energetic. Yeah. So it's a positive thing. Yeah. Oh, it's but I also agree with America. that as well. Yeah. It's lovely to meet Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Love meeting Americans. I love the girl on the left, her accent. Yeah. I, I... I can't disagree with that, but I like what the girl on the right said, which is that most of the country is probably not that way, but what you see in the extremes are like politically with the changing laws, etc. It does make it kind of crazy looking and undesirable and seems a bit backwards. It's funny that they say that they're chatty and they're kind of like, I love meeting Americans because because they're the same way. When I meet people from the UK, they're kind of cut from the same cloth and that they're also, no? <gasps> I'd say Americans are more polite and open and you know when you meet an American they're like hi how are you yeah we're from here and he's from there and I've been doing this and we've been doing we're friends forever but then it's like goodbye see you never very smiley that's what Americans think of Italians are like before they go to Italy like can't wait to show up in Italy and they're just gonna be so warm and greet me and they're gonna carry me away and feed me pot it's like <laughs> Sorry, we're more European and Italians are friendly, but it's it's so different when you see an Italian Sometimes we have this like facade. That's not rude not cold, but a little less open. Yeah, it's true These are the interviews. So uh, thank you so much Nathaniel the full video link here below But you as an American living in Italy Do you feel like people see you as a cool American or like a oh, American? I'm the non-typical American I suppose like I don't really drink um, I mean I I do take, drink cappuccinos pretty much any time of the day. But do you drink cocktails with your meal? Like, can I have pasta and a mojito? That, that, that just sounds weird to me now. Two years ago, I would have said, yeah, oh, why not? But now I'm like, I don't know, that seems a little Typical American. Tu non bevi cocktails con tena o pranzo. Sempre separato. Comunque, dicevo, tu in Italia, quando tu ti presenti e dici sono americano, ti aspetti una reazione positiva o negativa dall'interlocutore? Perché questo alla fine mi dice di più. Una re reazione positiva. Sì, certo, perché gli italiani, secondo me, hanno rispetto per, posso dire solo per me, ma a loro piace, piacciono gli americani, la cultura, le persone forse più della cultura, perché è una cosa un po' diversa. Se c'è una persona, un americano in Italia, subito questa è una persona diversa rispetto alla cultura americana, perché questa, questa persona sta viaggiando, è un turista, forse se vive in Italia o vive in Europa, sta facendo qualcosa un po' diverso e non stanno cercando McDonald's. Prima di salutarti volevo anche introdurre i tuoi canali perché tu sei molto presente su Instagram, 
che è dove ti ho conosciuto ah, parlami un po' dei tuoi canali così le persone che vogliono io lascio qui sotto anche i suoi contatti sul mio Instagram io faccio tante cose all'inizio consigli e raccomandazioni di viaggiare in Italia video reel di qualcosa comico della cultura altre cose così e un po' di tutto per tutti spero è divertente ma sempre, sempre sono in giro in Italia e voglio pubblicare per tutti ha viaggiato più di me in Italia praticamente quindi uh. grazie mille di essere stato qui con me oggi ragazzi fatemi sapere voi che cosa ne pensate se dico Stati Uniti che vi viene in mente? la reazione è positiva o è negativa? qual è la prima cosa? grazie Sonia grazie a te, grazie anche a Nathaniel ciao. alla prossima, ciao <ride>